Hey guys, so my friend Gary here on YouTube, his name is the Man of Steel 4321 I'm going to put his channel right here, and this is a video response to one of his videos, um, questions to Grant's hair tips. He gave me three questions that I'm going to answer here today, so I'm going to go ahead and answer them. Um, question one. What would you do if the urge was there, like really bad to cut your hair, because you couldn't do nothing with it, it looked horrible, it looked horrible when you gelled it and you hated constantly wearing a hat, what would you suggest doing um, if you was unhappy with it? When I was growing up my hair, even when you said you got up to about five or six months total, the link, longest you've had your hair, and when I started out my hair, that was probably about where you were, five, six months to get where I, were, where I was to even start out. So, again, it'd take longer to grow my hair out to where I am right now. But my hair at that stage, I did not look anything like I wanted to look. Um, my hair was shaggy, it all flipped up, a bunch of split ends, and it was more noticeable than you can now. And I'll put a picture right here. And I remember when I was a little kid, not little kid, um, two, three years ago maybe. But anyway, I would go into the barber or whatever, and I would notice that it just flipped up everywhere and it wouldn't my hair wouldn't last a week before it started looking like that again it was always looked horrible um i was just starting to become a teenager so it looked horrible anyway and my ear right here i would have a sideburns that would flip up kind of like like that it looked horrible um so that's also one of the reasons i started to grow up my hair because i kind of wanted to get rid of flips and everything and it's still a bit curly but now I'm just kind of growing out because I like it and I want extreme length past my butt. My only way out of bad looking hair in the awkward stage was to grow it. And you said your hair looks horrible when you grow it longer. At five or six months. You said at five or six months. And you said that the longest you've got it to last time, I think you said you cut it in December. And he'll be posting hair update videos um, soon here. So he will be growing out his hair and he's really intimate to it and here's the proof. I am really strong minded about doing this and I don't really care what my family or friends think, you know. If family and friends are supposed to be there for you and support what you do, so this is why I want to do this. If they don't want to support me, then that's their choice. You know, if my friends want to criticize me, then obviously they're not that great friends and I'm not going to listen to what they say this time. So no, I didn't really cover my hair with a hat, I didn't put a beanie on it, I didn't really cover it up, and if I did wear a hat or anything, hats have never been able to work for me, I've never been able to wear hats, I'm, when I was little I had short hair and all that, it looked, it looked fine, but with the way my hair was, and it, it still is, it just is really scratchy. I'll, this fuzz and hair gets up against me, and no, it doesn't work for me. I did not cover with anything. I knew it looked bad, and this is me a year ago. I just let it grow, and I did at times think that I wanted to cut it, but since I wanted to grow it for extreme length, I did not cut it because I knew it'd get better, and, and basically when people called me a bad name or they just told me to get a haircut, I kind of just laughed it off. Um, I just kind of said, good luck with that. Man, I got five more years left. So Gary, um, if your hair looks horrible, and I know you said it has to look horrible before, but your only way out of your awkward stage might be just to grow it. Don't cover with anything, just let it grow. People call you bad names, just laugh it off. Um, if you really want to cut it, I advise you don't, because whatever you cut off, it's going to take time to get back. Just keep on thinking, my hair is going to look awesome someday. And and if I cut my hair, it's never gonna get there. It is never gonna get there if I get trims. It is never gonna get there if I just cut it. It'll take longer. What will my hair look like next month? The the month after. What will it look like a half a year from now? What will my hair look like in two years? Oh my god, it'll look awesome. Question two. Now, I know everybody's hair is different, and what I've been worried about is if I let mine grow out really long, that where it's over a year and that. With my type of hair, I know my hair, it, it does get pretty thick. If I'm going to end up looking absolutely stupid because, you know, like your hair, my hair wouldn't go like yours because our hair is like completely different. Your hair at your stage looks good. Yes, it does. 
and you like greasing it back with gels and all that. And I have to say, I used to do that too, and did I think it looked good? Um, our hair is a different type of style, and texture, and of course length. Do I think that your hair could look good long? Yes, I do. My hair, as I've said before, my hair at a shorter length, I really hated my hair. I hated my looks. I hated everything. Um, I do think that you can make it there. And it may require extra patience, but it looks like most of them you have it greased back or in some way it's going back. You asked me another question. For your type of hair, what type of products do you use when it comes to like shampoo, conditioner, um, or if you put any products in your hair? What type of things do you use? Um, I just want some tips on that as well. I have these, um, the herbal essences, and what are they called? They're called None of Your Frizziness. And I got these about a year ago when I thought my hair was controllable and my frizz could be tempered. But has it really helped me? It hasn't really helped me, no. It's just the texture of my hair. And at that point, I thought I could control it and make it look better. But now I know that my hair is not controllable, really. That's what I use right now. And it says, you know the drill on here, lather and rinse and... Give Fuzz the buzz off. Um, oh, that doesn't work. Liars. You also sent me a message on Twitter, and you asked me what type of shampoo or conditioner should you use, and you told me that you were going to be using a 2-in-1. 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner in one is not good for that. You are coming from bald and you're growing hair. So you really want to try to treat your hair. Shampooing and conditioning are two different things. If you, I'm assuming for the 2-in-1 that you just put it on for like a, a couple seconds or so and just wash it off. For conditioner, you want to keep it on there for a minute or so. But at your stage, I'm not sure if you really, how long you should put it on your hair. Conditioning and shampooing are two different things. So I would get, not the 2-in-1, but if you use that product, try to get the separate ones. So there is a subscribe button to him up here. There's this video down here. And it should be, uh, this video should be a video response to his questions. And hopefully, Gary, if you find the time to put your response to this video down in the video responses. And this is not just for Gary. If you are starting out your hair from coming from bald, these are just some extra tips. Kind of like the video I did a little while back um, called, called Growing Your Hair Out, I believe. And so... So these are the ones I use for my type of hair, and it doesn't control frizz, just letting you know, so if you go out and buy this, they don't work. Okay? Um, so I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye-bye.